Hello friends, welcome back. This is Kuldeep from QA Tutorial. Today we are going to see one tricky Java problem. And the problem statement is like you need to write a program to print the numbers from 0 to 100 without using any numbers. So I hope you got the query here. You cannot use any numbers in your program. Like you cannot write INTI equals to 0 or INTI equals to 100. Okay. But still you need to print the numbers. From 0 to 100. So I hope it sounds tricky and if you wish you can try at your end. Okay, I will show you the solution how you can solve it. Let me create one program here. So let me create one class as the 1 to 100. Okay, and select this public static void main. Okay, to solve this problem, what you need to do. So basically we need to take one string of 10 characters. So I will write the string str equals to automation. Okay. And now let's get the length of this string. To get the length of this string, we can use the length function. So I will write the str dot length. Okay. And let me print this out. Basically, we can write it a string length, okay. It will return the length of this string, okay. So, right click, run a Java application, okay. So, the string length is the 10 here. Now, we need to get the 0 and the 100. So to get the 0, what we can do here, we can write like str dot length minus str dot length. 10 minus 10 becomes the 0 here. Let me take one integer and store the value. We can give any name. So I have taken uh, as integer name as the 0 here. Okay. Oh, I hope you got the point here. Like with the help of this string length, the string length is 10 here, and this string length will also give the 10, and then 10 minus 10 becomes a 0, and which I have stored in this integer variable. Okay, and now let me print this value as well. So we can write like the value of 0. Okay, as we have get the 0, now we need to get the 100. So, what we can do here, we can write the str dot length multiply by str dot length. Okay, so this str dot length will return the 10, and this str dot length will also return the 10. And if we multiply the 10 into 10, so it becomes the 100. So, let me store into one variable as well. So, let me store into 100 okay and let's print out the value of 100 as well so the value of 100 okay okay now let's execute this uh, program once again and see what is the outcome here so run as a java application okay So you can see like the value of the 0 is coming 0 and the value of 100 is coming the 100 here. So let me execute again. Okay. Now we have get the value of 0 and 100. So with the help of simple for loop, we can print the values from 0 to 100. So I will write the INTI equals to 0. Okay. I is less than equals to 100. And I plus plus. Print the value of i with the help of simple sysout. Okay, system dot out the print telling and i. And uh, let's execute this program again. Simply run as Java application. Okay, so here you can see like it is printing the numbers from 0 to 100. Okay, and uh, in this program, I have not used even a single number here. So, guys, that's it for the today's video. 
आई होप यू लाइक इट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग थैंक यू सो मच